Hello, good people. Welcome to episode two of how safely living in black zones. Okay, so last time we got to the Merlin rest, and uh, we learned that to getting here we just need like a ten thousand silver, which is worth of couple of mob on a yellow zone, killing those mobs or finishing couple of dungeons here and there and so anybody who is <coughs> tier 4 and up can do this so you buying a horse a riding horse tier 3 worth 10,000 and um, you kind of let me you get uh, find your way all uh, from this Merlin uh, the um, Limhurst port portal you find a way from this area and then here and then kind of like here there and from there to here and you ending up here so as you can see right now I, I don't have any silver on me and I'm naked so I just got here this is my uh, how home so I can come back here but we are going to do some fa uh, fame farming in a solo dungeons tier 7s uh, I have some set here which you see here uh, really went out and do some did some uh, dungeon solo dungeon and I got silver and I bought these and upgrade and all but all the things that you see except this 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 and this the rest that you can see here I got them from um, or in a dungeon or with the silver that I got on a dungeon I bought these food or about these things and this is a leftover from the dungeon that I couldn't recycle it or do anything with it. So I'm just keeping it for now. Uh, one of the comments on a last video was, can I do it with the 5.2 gear? Like doing the dungeons. Yes, you can. And I'm going to do that. I usually go with this gear set and I take one food so I can come back and then this so this build that you seeing here it's really good for solo dungeons the reason is uh, you have a good damage on it on the weapon and uh, a kinda good healing on it also all the thing that you're wearing gonna support you with more damage and if you see here is more damage on them so all of them the thing that they uh, give me here is all about giving me damage or healing uh, cast the stuff that I get so um, this gonna help me to do a lot of um, dungeons like I can with this build but remember that I am max level 100 on all of these things that I'm wearing and also if you go to any of these things I have some other um, things in this family that I have some aspect on them so if I'm wearing this 100 um, so I get this much um, to my like power of this uh, item but this guy also give me 200 uh, uh, sorry plus 2 on the leather because it's a leather and these guys also too so get more of these things and you become your item that you're wearing you become more powerful but um, so with this thing that you see I usually go out and fame farm if I don't care about the thing that I want to uh, level up I just want to go out and do some fame farming 
for no reason, just silver, just getting some rune or whatever. So I wear this. But if I want to go and uh, actually um, do the fame farming because I want to get my um, gear level up, I find something else on that category and wearing that one to level up those so if i go to these guys they are all related to this family so and uh, this is other robe uh, this is other hood and uh, this is other sandal so all these are the family of these things so i'm gonna wear this and if you looking at them they are five flat on a head five flat on a chest and the only one is six on the shoes which is not gonna really be important also uh, I take I usually take the weapon that I want to level it up but um, in the purpose of this video th because I want to just show you what's gonna happen if you go with your best weapon and like uh, something else that you want to level up I'm gonna go with this so my weapon is max out but the rest of the thing that I'm wearing are not and I'm gonna go to upgrade these guys but you guys can even this is the family of this guy like these two are in the same family so uh, if I use this one I'm gonna level up this one too specifically but I'm not in a rush to doing this uh, for this video we're gonna do this one and we're gonna take one food with us but the reason I'm taking one food is to make me come back to and if I find any other uh, reason to stay out this food is kind of my counter to come back so this is a half an hour of doing it I'm gonna take one uh, map with me the reason I'm taking the map is I want to get the one that has a butterfly on the if you buy the map from the market uh, let's go to market you need to search for solo map so solo uh, dungeon map and um, you want a tier 7 so if you get these guys which is flat is not enchanted or anything if you get these guys when you open in them in the open world they are gonna open a um, dungeon which is um, point one so it has a butterfly green butterfly on it so we're gonna the reason is this one and remember that when we have that map on us we want to open it inside the city the reason is we don't want to get out and uh, open it and system games send us in a different map around us on a different tier 7 map we want the one that is like on a side of the city so we go really fast there do the thing and come back so we're gonna stay inside the city to open it we're gonna mount up the plan is we mount up we open in a map and then as soon as it show up we're gonna go to the shrine and grab it and walk around and we're gonna stay here because 99 percent gonna be like this way okay so let's see what's gonna happen so we open it and it's telling us to go to the tier six one over there so we go that way don't worry the map still is a tier seven map so you're not losing anything if you're doing it on a tier six map zone the system gonna send you somewhere around that uh, node that you open because this thing is um, surrounded with the high tier maps so you can actually be sure that you kind of gonna get the map or on surrounding zone so well, let's go there there is a chest there and there is a guy here but we don't care about the guy we are invisible right now and uh, we don't want to care about the chest also just passing by but we don't give a sh yeah like here is uh, patrolling a lot of horses and stuff so we don't care about that we just go directly to the dungeon 
and uh, somewhere here yeah okay we're gonna wait for this guy to leave hopefully he's gonna leave really fast because we don't want this guy to be know that we are here so let's see he is patrolling this dungeon probably okay uh, I can't find him yeah he's leaving going again no right gonna stay 90 seconds here just in case that somebody gonna come so we waiting till we waiting we are assisting our situation so as soon as we go out we need to be able to teleport back or uh, dodge the way that we came so if we go in this one and we are kind of like here right now we need to go this way and this way so this is not a really dangerous place at least when we finish the map but let's see if we can get enough silver that we can teleport back and we don't need to worry about that so i'm just waiting here um remember that we're not going to use food right now until we really need it i'm gonna see how is my gear and how much damage i put and do i need this to do it or not otherwise why do i waste um 3k almost like 4k here so waiting for the 90 second i'm giving it more like 30 more second so we're gonna leave by like 70 should be fine to look at that and till then I did every other this okay cool we got like 10 more second and let's go so we're doing uh, we can uh, it's easy as you can see this is the tier 7 dungeon and I'm doing it with tier 5 uh, flat gear as I explained it before this is my gear you can see it till I finish this guy So the tier of my gear is not really high and as you can see it's not hard to kill them but remember all of the thing that I said about my uh, level of the specialist on the stuff that I have and consider that don't forget that that's kind of important on this situation. see the reason I have that blight is this as you can see I can heal and the damage is substantial it can drop anything that I can see and let's do this You can bring your highest weapon here at the at the beginning. 
not high tier the highest one on and uh, that you have the specialty on it bring that and um, farm with it as much as you can you're gonna get less fame on a combat fame but you can use that to level up a couple of the things that you wanted and then start using those as a main one you guys need to uh, remember that uh, you need to do this based on the weapon that you use that's the reason that we have blight see if you have time blight is the good one because you have time to do uh, stuff but you need to be patient with the weapon it has kind of like it's not instant like other melee weapons or any other thing is it oh, oh. all right it's kind of like after effect of the weapon it's Let me kill this one, heal up. I want that buff there. Let's see. Usually with this weapon, I can do like maybe in 10, 15 minutes a dungeon, a solo dungeon, maybe 10 minutes. Uh, or maybe eight to ten minutes more like that so depends on how many floor I'm going and all those things and how enchanted is the thing that I go but this thing it doesn't take me long to do it okay so you see uh, I get level up on this one now I can use my uh combat fame on this i'm gonna take it to level six right away and we're gonna get more right on the way okay so we have a cooldown here so let's go grab this guy also I don't know what exactly happened, who killed who, but all right. Okay, I'm healing up. Killing this one. Drinking that. the next level but with the learning point I don't want to use the learning point on it and remember we had zero silver at the beginning of the dungeon so whatever we get I just want to play it safe safe so you guys see if you want to play it safe how it's gonna happen so you know, I can just walk back to the city and not paying that teleport money but I want to show you that nobody can see you when you get there and if you want it spend some of that money that you made from the dungeon to teleport back it's important to gather any um, silver that you see so don't miss it I'm gonna heal up a little bit 
there is a mini bus there This one too. Okay. What do we got? A book. All right. We are here for fame, so. And these are the bosses. If you are worried about the bosses. You just need something to, if you messed up like me, you can heal it up, that's all. But if you are really good at doing the healing, uh, let me see how many we got. We got 30k here, 40k almost, so that, and uh, you see this? If I had my own tank on me, uh, the um, great nature, I was going to use it right away so I get all of it on there. But I'm gonna keep this, go to the Merling Rest, and then get, uh, wear the great nature, use these books on it. Or maybe bow, or any other weapon that you want it. Oh. Uh. This was really bad. <laughs> okay. I put the last passive of my weapon to the one that if I do auto attacks oof. if I do auto attack it uh, one auto attack give me four energy so uh, I shouldn't be suffering from energy shortage or something As you see here, this guy, and it gave me each auto attack for energy. So this is helping me to not have an energy problem here. Especially because my Q, if I wait for a couple of auto attack and then do the Q, it's gonna really increase damage. And we're getting a lot of these things that we can sell them on a death market and not for much compared to the market and the cities. But silver is silver. On these situations, we don't really care. Just need enough in case. That's the end of the dungeon, probably. Look like it. Yeah, and that's a. So as you can see, I'm gonna finish the dungeon and the boss and everything. But as you can see, it's not really hard to do the dungeons in here. In Black Zone Tier 7. You can bring the higher tier. I personally with this I can go to any dungeon except like 8.3 or something um, other, other than that I can do any uh, dungeon if I want it we need 10 seconds and we really have you know oh, I need to focus on this one Okay, so is it this? Maybe need the food that I want. 
that's the reason we have I'm gonna try one more time and if I go down I'm gonna eat the food all right so we're gonna dodge everything that's the thing if you don't dodge those because this is the electrical uh, as well as uh, that uh, he is dropping so if you don't dodge them like these guys are really hurting as you can see so you need to really get back really fast before he's bringing you more down all right walk 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 I need two seconds all right we should be fine especially now all right I just need a little bit focus but you cannot do it okay so we got this what I do with these things I'm gonna heal up first to go out because we want to do so we made almost like 20k teleporting back and all those things and we save up on the food and we have a lot of fame and we got uh, our hood a little bit up actually we can go higher Uh, let's see uh, we have 36 more so let's spend them on this and see how much more we can go we can go to t 11 uh, okay so we brought one of the hood just with one dungeon to level 11 and we need to do that uh, to all of these three so uh, we can go and uh, grab the other one or we can keep doing this I personally bring everything to 11 then to 20 I mean usually is 10 and then 20 all of them to 20 and then all of them to 30 40 50 60 and all the way up so I'm gonna go back to the uh, to the Merlin rest and put down this one and uh, grab one of these ones uh, for the next dungeon so uh, let's go I want to see how much is the teleport back so is it worth it or not so we have almost 20k I'm gonna uh, mount up and we need 8k 8.5k so walking is much cheaper why not and we actually need to dodge every animal because this is a tier 3 horse and you don't want to bring their health down so let's um, get out here uh, Especially in this, this is the only place, the only choke that you need to worry about it around the Merlin rest when you pass in the tree. Uh, Sometimes people can camp there and gank you. But remember, you don't have any much anything worth for anybody. All right. So we came back to Merlin rest. What I usually do is. I keep silvers down down here this is kind of my investment for in this city so when I need silver I go to this one what else I'm doing I'm gonna go and buy whatever I can buy with this tier 4 room I'm gonna exchange my tier 4 to tier 5 so I go here I go here and I need this and I can with my 25 of this I can get five out so this gonna give me 17 of those then I'm gonna go to market and try to sell those um, 
uh, maps uh, sorry these things these uh, treasure thingy so this one as you can see is not really making money out of it or anything but silver is silver for here so we're selling this and we're selling this if you can sell it if anybody buying it whatever they buying it i'll sell it now uh the reason i need those rooms is to enchant my uh, tea, my weapons and stuff so i'm keeping these as much as i can now i have these things let me pull this one back here for now so i have these two i need to spend that to something i can upgrade my bow i can do this or i can do this right now my uh, plan is to get my all my bows to level 100 because i want to make a um, uh, tier 8.3 uh, longbow and go faction war with it uh, so that's my goal right now so i'm gonna wear this but you can wear what you can uh, put anything you want to level it up so i have this and now i'm gonna use this um, usually you can sell this but i'm uh, looking for any fame that i can get so using this for 10k and using these guys so that's 20 uh, 38k of fame that it goes there remember this was just one uh dungeon and i upgrade before other things that i was wearing like these guys they uh, at least these three guys got uh, uh, fame for killing anything i killed and this guy specifically got extra whatever i gather from the dungeon and now i have this guy extra that it got a lot of uh, fame on it i mean let me check that how much is this one so on this one i'm level 63 so it's going up right now and uh, i'm working on all my uh, bows so but right now I specifically i want to get uh, when i am in a merlin wrist i want to work on this because this is what i want to wear when i go for fighting um, so this and i want to wear a royal sandal but i'm gonna ro wear the royal sandal when i am in a royal continent uh, so it's not really important so um for me it's i want to wear these three things uh this this and royal sandal which is the family of these sandals so i'm working on this for my bow because it's really going to help me for my bow to put more damage for uh, from the long way but anyway uh, that's for that one uh, let's get naked for this first uh, we're gonna put down this and this and this and we're gonna put this one i find this bag on a dungeon so you may get some uh, stuff that you m thinking that it, m it may be work for you so you gonna keep them it's not a bad idea also uh, let me put my horse back here and uh, now um i usually keep 10 dungeon and uh, 10 food i have food enough food so i'm gonna buy one more dun uh, uh, solo dungeon map and uh, let's buy tier 8 one it's expensive so seven point one is expensive so zero i'm buying uh, two more uh, yeah all right so i buy this and i buy this oh okay i can buy that and uh, let's see what else do we need uh, i need rune so let's buy some rune yeah okay so 
is by this and this I'm buying everything I can buy like room wise 600 uh, 6, and 5 19 here okay by this and we have 53 I usually emptied whatever I have I can buy I put them here and here and that 53 silver up and drop it on a guild just to be zero actually I can't get to zero but that's fine okay so that's the way I usually do the dungeons and you guys can do it and um, get your gear up as much as you want it and get them high as possible uh, remember don't go out with the expensive things or if you want to uh, take the expensive things to the dungeons which I don't recommend but for any reason at least spend some money buy a tier 4 set here and put those expensive things in your inventory where the tier 4 one and go out with those don't let people especially the one that is around this chest or around this area know that what's your plan because these guys are just here for short time there is no legion to anybody nobody trusting anybody so don't trust anyone here at least as long as just seeing them if you know them from the different places that's a different story but uh, remember that you are in the middle of the black zone and outside of this wall any of these guys can kill you for your gear so don't let them know that how um, rich you are how expensive you can be and what you have in your uh, inventory and things like that don't give any information about your gear your activity content or anything to any of these guys or any other places on albion because they can come and find you and kill you all right i hope you guys are liking this video i'm gonna see you guys on my uh, guild island i'm gonna go there and I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Take care. Enjoy.